Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another painting. Today I'm working on a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to be doing a chain pull butterfly today, which I am super excited about. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and now I finally did it. So I'm starting with a phthalo blue base and a very thin coat, of course. First, I'm dipping a bamboo skewer in a bit of titanium white paint for the outline so that I know where to go with my squeeze bottles. With these, I'm laying down the thinnest amount possible of paint in order to avoid puddling up the colors as I do my chain pull or having them spill over the chain into the details that I want to keep there. So it's very important to use the least amount of paint possible for this technique and I know it looks a little messy right now but it will get better. Laying down the chain just a tiny bit on the inside of the outline of the paint and this is a very slow process by the way. It, this is very much sped up and slowly pull and I did not think it would go this well but it did. Like look at those lines. They're so crisp and delicious. The reason I was a bit worried was because the only chain that I could find was this one and it has very small balls. I couldn't find anything with larger balls. So I was like, oh no, are these balls too small? But no, they did the job great. Anyway, um, the only problem with this amount of paint is that it does leave a fair amount of phthalo blue in the middle of this chain pull, um, I guess, wing it would be. So it's very flower-esque, but I think that that is actually really cool looking. It's kind of like a happy accident. I wanted to take a moment to say hello and thank you to all of the new subscribers on this channel. It's been kind of wild lately. For me, anyway, there's one video that's doing really well and I'm assuming being recommended on YouTube and so there's all these new people coming in and I'm really, really excited. So only 11 days ago I did my 100 subscribers video and now we're over 200 and that is wild to me. So I'm really, really excited and I'm really thankful. So I just wanted to say hello my friends. My name is Sarah and I love painting and making videos about painting. I'm super duper excited to see this community grow. So welcome. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but I'm trying so hard to be still. My finger's just kind of lingering in the corner. <laughs> I like I couldn't move. I was going so slow and I am not a steady handed person. So this was stress, but it was worth it. Okay, so I'll use the chain and pull down a couple areas towards the middle so that it will attach to the body a little bit better. And by the way, I am rinsing off the chain after every time I use it in a cup of water that I have on this side. All you have to do is just kind of swish it around aggressively and then dry it off with a piece of paper towel. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but I will be fixing a couple things after it's dry. For now, I'm going to blot out the middle and I will be working on the body. First, I tried a line of color and moved the chain through that. Didn't like the way it looked. So I blotted it out and I'll be doing dots instead. I didn't realize until a little bit later that I should have made the body longer at the bottom because it looks like the bottom wings are attaching to his behind. So I'll fix that later. Now I'll be swiping through these dots with a palette knife to create the antenna. I want to try and connect the wings with the body a little more, so I use the chain for that. And then I goofed it. I accidentally dipped my chain in the wing, and I was like, no! But it's fine. You can just kind of go over it again with the chain. And it's like it never happened. Here is the next day after it had dried completely, and I'm just going over some areas that I want to fix, making it a bit more symmetrical and brightening up a couple areas. Also fixing the spots in the background that were too thin when they dried so you can see the canvas underneath.
The last step is to fix the body. So I added three more little dots and just did the same swipe through with the palette knife. And here is the finished result. I am so happy with this. This technique creates such gorgeous lines and texture and I'm super pumped to use it in the future. I definitely learned some things from doing this one. This was my first attempt at a chain pull, um, anything. So I did make some mistakes, but that's okay. I'm going to take what I've learned um, for the next time that I try this because I will be trying this again. I actually did try a chain pull flower after I did this one. I didn't videotape it, but I did videotape the wet results. So I may be posting that as well. Welcome to my new obsession and I'm sorry in advance, but let me know how you feel about this. Do you like this chain pull effect, this butterfly effect, if you will, <laughs> or do you hate it? <laughs> let me know. If you did enjoy, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The typical YouTube things. I would appreciate it so very much and I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for over 200 subscribers. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you next time.